Many of us need to start our day with a fresh cup of coffee or two, or more. The waiting is the hardest part, so we definitely need a reliable coffee maker that's convenient and makes us a delicious brew. Bonus points for an auto start timer. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and Tech Gadgets International, and in this review, I'll take a look at the Smeg DCF02 retro style drip coffee maker, which may look like it was made decades ago, but it does come with modern features. While it looks pretty cool, there are definitely some red flags you'll need to be aware of before you spend a lot of money to buy it. I'll tell you what you can and can't do with this machine, and if overall I think I can recommend it for you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video or finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. The Smeg Retro Style Drip Coffee Maker lives up to its name since it looks like a coffee machine someone would have had in the mid-century era. It's made with a colored plastic housing, swooping lines, and it's rounded at the top. The coffee maker measures about 10 inches wide at the base and it's about 14 inches tall. I got the off-white color or cream, but there's lots of color choices. The Smeg coffee maker easily fit underneath my overhead cabinets, but because the top hides a lid where you fill the water and add the coffee, you do definitely need to pull it out from underneath the cabinets to fill it. What I noticed rather quickly is that the machine is extremely wide, much wider than it really needs to be to hold the coffee pot. I guess that's part of the retro design, but it does seem to have a needlessly large footprint. Under the rounded dome is the cone-shaped drip basket and the water tank. The dome on top makes the coffee maker look quite unique, but it does prevent you from storing anything on top of the device. No keeping coffee mugs or filters up there. This coffee maker comes with a 10 cup capacity glass carafe and the fully removable lid as opposed to a flip up clicks into place securely. If you don't want to make a full 10 cups, you can simply fill the coffee pot with as much water as you want and it'll run whatever's in the holding tank through the machine. Oddly though, there is also a half pot button on the machine which will only brew four cups when pressed. I'm not really sure I understand the need for this option since if you only want half a pot, you really only need to fill the water tank with that much water. Maybe I'm missing something though. The carafe comes with a pause and serve feature which lets you remove the pot to fill your mug even while the brewing is happening and this will prevent coffee from draining onto the burner. Some coffee makers make you guess how much water is left in them which can be a hassle or result in major overflows, not that that's ever happened at our house. The Smeg coffee maker though has a small window on the side that acts as a handy water level indicator. While we're on the topic of the water tank, I have to say I think how you fill this machine is really poorly designed. The coffee pot is quite wide and it's got a narrow thin lip. Similarly, the opening at the top of the machine for the water is narrow and the lid only opens 90 degrees. The result is that it can be extremely awkward to fill the water tank and getting all the water from the pot into the tank often doesn't happen whether you fill from the front or the side. Because the top of the pot tends to bang into the lid on the machine and because the opening where the water is poured is so narrow, it's an exercise in balance and dexterity. In truth, it was quite maddening trying to fill the water before I'd even had a cup of coffee. For this reason, I took to filling it up when I was a little more coherent in the evening or the night before. The Smeg coffee maker includes a reusable filter. I don't personally love these since I find fine coffee dust can usually still make it through and mar my coffee. This filter though actually seemed to do a decent job. If you do prefer paper filters like me, you can still use them. The Smeg coffee maker comes with a timer mode and you can choose either a 12 or a 24 hour clock too by the way. Setting both the clock and the automatic brew time are easy enough and the instructions in the manual are pretty clear. I was able to get it to brew my coffee right before my alarm went off so I would wake up to a fresh hot cup. While we're on this topic, one of the biggest disappointments for me is that there is only a one hour time limit to keep your coffee hot. After that, the machine will automatically shut off. 
My old coffee maker allowed this setting to be changed from anywhere from one to three hours, and I found that about two hours was the perfect balance of time to keep the coffee hot in order for two of us to sip our way through the pot. Oddly, the keep warm mode won't actually come on if you choose the half pot setting or if you stop the brewing process before it's complete. I spent about two weeks with the Smeg coffee machine and used it every day. I already said it, but I really did hate filling the water simply because of the poor compatibility of the glass coffee pot and the small opening in the top for the water. When it comes to the overall coffee quality, the machine does the job and it has a decent balance of useful features while not being overly complicated. Coffee quality comes down to two things, really, using good quality filtered or purified water and the beans you choose. And using quality beans obviously gives you better taste in coffee. And as far as I'm concerned, the machine you use has very little impact on the taste. So for me, a good automatic drip coffee machine should be easy to program, easy to use, easy to clean, and not take up too much space on my kitchen counter. The Smeg Retro Drip Machine gets it not quite right. When it comes to the cleanup, another disappointment, the glass coffee pot is not dishwasher safe. Smeg recommends you hand wash it to avoid damage, and this is a huge downside for me. The filter basket and the reusable filter can go in the dishwasher though. The rest of the machine can be wiped down with a damp cloth. So let's recap. This coffee maker has some good points and some not so good points. On the pro side, it is easy to program and it looks fantastic. But the flip side of that is that it is made entirely of plastic, so be aware of the build quality you're getting. The auto timer function works well and it's easy to set. On the con side though, the coffee can only be held warm for about an hour, which is not nearly long enough for me, and there's no option to adjust that setting. I also don't like that the carafe is not dishwasher safe. Finally, I think the machine is bigger than it needs to be and filling the water tank requires dexterity and precision and it's actually hard to get all the water out of the pot and into the tank. Not fun in the early morning before you've had your coffee. The other major downside to this device is its very high cost. Most of the colors of the Smeg coffee maker can be purchased for about 229 US or about 350 Canadian, while a stainless steel option does cost much more. Particularly since there's no standout performance features here, this seems needlessly expensive for something that's likely to make coffee just as well as any other automatic drip machine. If you're aware of the cons and you're okay with them, then I think you'll be really happy with the retro looks of the Smeg Drip coffee machine. But for me, while this coffee maker does the job, I'm going to take a pass on it since the cons do outweigh the pros from my personal experience and preferences. There is another retro style coffee maker I've had for a long time and it is still going strong and working really well. Find out what I think of the Cuisinart Drip coffee maker, which is only about a third of the price of the Smeg by the way. Or if you're into espresso, see which small Nespresso machine I added to my own kitchen right now.